shoulder. It is Amanda Grace Leo from Grace and Tarot. So today is the new moon in Taurus and it's really exciting for a couple of reasons. So firstly, I am in my Airbnb in Ponique, Wellington. I am actually on a work trip, but what's really exciting is I've actually figured out the setup with like, I've got, I'm filming on my iPhone and then I've got the live feed, like I can see myself um, on my Mac. I'm doing like a continuity camera. I'm up with the lingo, y'all. Anyway, the tripod situation was a bit of a mish, but we're here. Um, I've actually wanted to do readings by astrology sign for quite a long time. And I've been thinking and thinking and thinking about it and being like, how do I want to do it? I guess I'm kind of going long form here. So here we are, but I'll be cutting all these for... Um, into little clips for TikTok and YouTube shorts and Instagram. So if you're not on there yet, get on it. So let's quickly talk about this new moon in Taurus. I dare say we are like a bit relieved that we're coming out Taurus season. This year's Taurus season was not easy. We had two eclipses. It was intense. Plus we had Mercury in retrograde. This differs for a lot of people. I think certain people had this huge clearing from their lives. So big things were changing. It was that Scorpio eclipse was coming in hot for them. I really think this reading wants us to really sit down and reflect on what Taurus season has taught us that does not work for us anymore and kind of review what that's been like and what the lessons we've learned and, and how we've actioned the new version of ourselves we want to be. So it's a good moment to take stock before we get ready for Gemini season. Okay, so I'm a Gemini moon and Mars, I think it is. I'm going to be in my moon season next month and I'm going to be working on myself really hard. And Gemini energy is like fast moving. It is sociable. It is creative. It is all those beautiful things. So it's, it's we love it. We love a good Gemini. There are two sides to every Gemini. We know this. And clearly my other side is Leo, 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 Leo. Each side, I'm going to draw a card. The question is, what is coming up ahead for you in this new moon and Taurus slash Gemini season? And what do you need to focus on? You know what? Let's start with Taurus because this was your season, okay? All right, Taurus, what is something that you need to focus on? Whoa. World reversed came up. I love this. Okay. My beautiful Taurians, I love you so much. I would love to end up with a Taurus one day. That's what I always say. But you know, we've just come through a huge cycle and it's been your season. I don't know if you felt in your season, but I know a lot of Taurians have been like, oh my God, what's going on? This is supposed to be my season where I just chill out, but everything's everywhere. So Taurus, you've come to the end of a cycle with your season. So the question is, what are the promises that you have made yourself in this past month? that you need to deliver on. Now that you are where you wanted to be, or even if you're not where you wanted to be, now that you're here, what are these promises to yourself on the work that you're gonna do to yourself, on the actions you're gonna take that you need to deliver on? But I really think it's going to be helpful for you to use the Gemini energy and the Gemini season to jumpstart you a little bit. Oh, Taurians, you guys love your comfort. You love to, you love luxury and you love pleasure and you love growth, but you love staying in your comfort zone. What are the promises that you made yourself of how you're going to step out of your comfort zone when the time came? Hey, that time is now. That the new moon in Taurus is giving you such beautiful energy to do this. Plus Gemini season, I think, will kickstart you a little bit. So really... Do that. So you're gonna be given a lot of opportunities to step out of your comfort zone. And yes, it's not always gonna be the most comfortable thing. That's why it's called outside of the comfort zone. When Taurus really does push against their growth edges, I really feel like they experience exponential growth. All the Tauruses in my life, whenever they've made a bold move, finally, after like five years, they've experienced this amazing release and abundance. And they're like, why didn't I do that sooner? It's cause you're a Taurus, what can I say? Now let's move on to Gemini. I love Geminis. Gemini is my moon and Mars. Like, I just find Gemini so fun. Wow, that was fast. Gemini got two cards for the duality and the twins in you. What do we have? We have, oh, both reverse. We got King of Pentacles reverse. And what do we have? We've got, oh, Three of Cups reverse. How interesting. Get distracted so easily that someone literally was like, uh, Amanda, I think you've got ADHD. Have you ever considered that? I was like, Nah, bitch, I got a Gemini moon and Mars. I actually think that the Mars aspect is what makes me so easily distractible. King of Pentacles reverse is really asking how you can knuckle down into your long-term plans for growth. Gemini is mutable here. Geminis, I really feel like 
Y'all love hopping from one thing to the other. You guys are good at so many different things. Your intellect and your skills are like razor sharp and fast. The way you talk is fast. It's really amazing. But sometimes I think you guys get overwhelmed when some of the systems that maybe you have hoped would stabilize are kind of shaky. What is this structure and thing that you're building that can give you the stability that you need so that you have permission to just go wild and flip from one thing to the other? What are the things that are kind of ticking around in the background while you do your amazing shapeshifter, like multi-talented kind of person, creative thing, work thing, thing? You know what I'm saying? King of Pentacles is in mastery of their long-term growth. They are the king of the garden. They know exactly how to nourish their garden. They know how to feed others. They know how to rule from a place of abundance. Your season, which is coming up, Gemini, I want you to lean into your abundance and really work on bringing that and calling that into your life. I really believe that abundance is here. Look, Gemini season is going to be fucking fun for all of us. I'm really getting those vibes. But how can we also do the hard work of ticking things over in the background so that when the time comes we can relax and do our thing okay cups reverse this is really interesting three of cups to reverse to me often signals that a lot of us feel like we can't find our soul tribe and this is an interesting one given that we're coming into you know flirty social gemini season three of cups reverse is asking you not to rush into any deep long-term relationships you know upcoming this season you might meet a couple of people you're like oh my god these are the ones this is my soul tribe this is my life partner you know what that might be true but it's always good to take a breath slow the fuck down with king of pentacles it's like let those things tick over slowly in the background like invest in the long term because you might change your mind next season and this happens all the time getting the message that you're going to receive a lot of people coming your way a lot of new connections a lot of new opportunities to meet people and to develop long-term relationships however my lovely flighty distracted gemini take a breath slow down let's see what is real and what is just fun and hopefully they're both of those things all right my beautiful watery cancer what do we have for you all right we have the hermit reverse okay cancer i fucking love this for you this gemini season cancer i want you to stop worrying so much about what's up ahead how am i gonna get to where i need to be cancer season is coming oh my god so many emotions and so much to do and so many big events what am i gonna do how am i gonna do it what's going on but i don't i don't want to be vulnerable hey yo cancer it's okay chill the fuck out we got the hermit reverse the hermit is literally telling you to take one step at a time do you think that this cute little hermit do you think that they can see like 10 20 meters up ahead with their little lantern i don't know they can only see literally the step that they're on and maybe one pace up ahead so cancer don't get ahead of yourselves okay cancer you don't actually have to figure everything out tomorrow you can take it one step at a time. So Hermit is saying you're going to have a lot of things coming towards you. I think you're going to be called out of your shell quite a lot. I really am getting feel the feeling that this Gemini season for you, there are going to be a lot of people, opportunities, jobs, activities, events that are going to draw you out of your shell. I mean, that Gemini energy is going to be infectious. And they're going to kind of ask you to reveal a little bit of that soft, white, vulnerable little crab meat that's within okay so that might feel really overwhelming just remember you don't have to give it all away and you're not going to give it all away if you take a moment to pause and not get ahead of yourself let things be what they are but just be connected and in your emotions and know that sometimes sometimes it's a little sexy to show off that little bit of you know vulnerability let it be seen let it work for you be who you are cancer be in your emotions and process those things okay now we come to my favorite sign y'all know that i'm a leo my last name is leo and my rising which is how people perceive me is also leo as well as my venus and my mercury so i'm gonna get straight to the point leo leo leos what do we have up ahead for us this gemini season oh we got two cards okay leo we got two cards we have uh, the five of wands Mm -hmm. the page of pentacles reverse by the way what i love about this card this card is literally a friend of mine carissa like she was the model for this card and i didn't i didn't know that and i got given the stick and i pulled it out and here she is so i love drawing page of pentacles and carissa hi if you're watching this hi my love gemini season is infectious it is 
mutable air. You know that air just kind of like feeding our fire. We can get real carried away and sometimes that's just not the best thing. We can get a bit carried away with our communication um, and we can get really carried away with our opinions and really wanting to you know, with all of our bravado, there is some potential conflict that's going to come out in your relationships and things in Gemini season. And that is also okay. You don't always have to be so confrontational, Leo. Sometimes you can take a step back, take a breath. You can take a step back and realize that different opinions are not always bad. You know, it is really our differences that make us who we are. And please make sure that you're not acting out of a place of a hurt ego. Just because someone disagrees with you, doesn't mean that they dislike or are rejecting you. Now, I'm speaking from a place of deep truth because I do know that when someone like reacts in a certain way towards me that I feel is really like unfair, um, I feel really rejected and I can feel really hurt. Even if someone just is like, oh, hey, can you like not do that? That's annoying me. I can take that really personally. So I really feel like Five of Wands, Leo, is like inviting us to just, to just remember that we are the center of our universe, but we are not the center of the whole universe. We are here to play our part in leading people to be part of the collective, but in an individual way. Lots of Leos, we like to look perfect. We like to look well presented all the time. It can be really hard for us to let our weaknesses show, but I really think there will be opportunities that are going to ask us to love ourselves so radically by acknowledging and working and leaning into our weaknesses sometimes that is where we find the biggest strength and the biggest magic we don't need to maintain this perfect facade all the time we've got page of pentacles reverse okay leo you have harvested a beautiful seed and we are preparing for leo season which is coming up i dare say we're going to have opportunities to deeply reinvest in some sort of seed that we have harvested from a past fruit so whatever project that you might have kind of started and not finished in the past, or maybe there's something that you've been aching to go back to that you haven't touched for a long time. I really feel Leo, like this is the season to really do some risk stock take. Now that you've planted the first seed, you've grown the fruit, you've harvested the fruit, it's given you a new seed. How can you think about the other fields that you could reinvest the seed in? So I dare say Gemini season is actually going to bring you a lot of connections in terms of long-term life work. And it is going to ask you to take a little bit of a risk in how and where you are replanting the seed. How can you allow yourself to expand and not be limited by other people's doubts and other people's worries? If your gut is saying, hey, I think I wanna to contribute to this endeavor or I wanna invest in this, even though other people are saying, oh, I wouldn't do that, somehow in my gut, I feel like it's right. This is your sign to do it. So keep out for that opportunity that is coming in this Gemini season. So moving into Virgo, my Virgo. Ooh. Virgo, we have two of wands. All right, Virgo, Gemini energy might be a little bit intense for you. You know, there's a lot going on. Virgo, I want to say don't get bogged down into the details, okay? For those of you Virgos who are creative, any Virgo that wants more creativity in their lives, um, I dare say that this is going to be a really great time and you're going to get a lot of opportunities to start to plan how you want to use your sacred fire. Now, the reversal to me says, while you're doing that, Remember, we don't need to get so bogged down into the details. And also, if something is not ready, we don't need to push. You guys are known for being very efficient. You guys are known for being the editors of the star signs. So you're trying to push something forward and it's not quite working. Can you take a moment to ask, is this where my energy is needed now? Or can I actually put my energy to the next task that I have on my list? So I would say go systematically, but don't let the list also, don't let the list limit you. You are allowed to pivot. Now, with Gemini season, when things are coming in hot and fast, asking us to be really flexible, it's asking us to be open to kind of pivoting and going with the flow at different times. So, so yes, plan, implement, do all those things that you're so good at doing, but allow yourself the flexibility to pivot. If you have to make five lists for how you're going to pivot, I guess you can do that. But really, what I want you to do is take that practicality, ask yourself, what is the best use of my energy? And how can I conserve energy by leaving this right here? It's still on the to-do list, but that's okay. And putting your attention on something else. Because this Gemini season, it wants to give you a lot of opportunities to expand your list. To expand what your list thought was possible. They say you're going to come out of Gemini season being more energized and having a lot more options for what you think you can do.
All right, my darling Libra. I've been seeing a lot of Libras in my life recently. King of Cups, oh my God, yes. All right, my Libra babies. You're this amazing King of Cups and you're just like chilling in your amazing armchair and you're like, you're just, you working it, okay. Libra babies, this is the season. Give yourself permission to be in your emotions. It's Gemini season, you're gonna have lots of opportunities to work from your heart. Libra, I think this is a really great card for you because sometimes I think you can get really caught up in being so objective and impartial that you feel quite disconnected from how you feel or you feel like you can't express that. Now this Gemini season, you're gonna have a lot of opportunities to step up into leadership and to lead from your heart. How wonderful. So Re Libra, what is the work that you need to do to be ready for those opportunities that are gonna present itself to you this Gemini season? to really open your heart, give advice from a place of really loving and caring for people. Also think that it's gonna be a, an amazing time for you to pioneer new ways of connecting with others from a really heart-based center and less from a mind kind of thing. King of Cups to me indicates that this is a season where your mind and your heart are gonna be in balance. And Libra, no one knows balance better than you. So this is a good time to really go forward with all the lessons that you've learned in Taurus season, all of the clearings, and to really embrace race, this newfound identity and this new way of being and of communicating and of relating to the world. Things are not always fair. Okay, Libra, so when those opportunities come for you to really talk about what's going on in your heart, do not be afraid. That is the universe calling you to greatness. It is the universe calling you to step up and to trust that if you speak from the heart, people will feel seen, will feel heard, and that is more important than this illusion of remaining neutral and objective. Libra, there is no such thing as completely neutral or objective. There is only heart, okay? We all have biases. But when you work from a heart perspective, that is a completely different new way of working. And I really hope this Gemini season, you are able to lean into that because coupled with your brain, that's gonna be a motherfucking superpower, okay? Okay, my lovely mysterious Scorpios, what do we have for you? <laughs> we got three cards, Scorpio loves it. We got the chariot reversed. We have the... Six of Wands reverse, and we have the King of Wands. Scorpio, I think this is going to be a great month for you and your sacred fire. I think the Gemini air and the Gemini electricity is going to really ignite something in you. So whatever it is that you're feeling compelled to do and to lead from a place of passion and creativity, whatever that might mean to you, this is your sign to really go for it. And then we've got the Chariot reverse. We did say that there are endeavors and things that you want to push forward but the reversal of the chariot suggests to me maybe in this maybe in this gemini season there's going to be a lot of stop and starts and pauses and you're not going to be able to blaze off as fast as you would like to so now that you're feeling this amazing energy scorpio's just like i want to go i want to go i want to do things let's go and then something comes up and you're like oh my god what is this block is it because i've shown too much of myself okay scorpio no sometimes these stops come up because it gives you a chance to go back into your intuition. So take those opportunities to retreat just for a little bit, go into that really dark intuitive place and draw out the wisdom for how you're going to proceed next. But it's for you to problem solve how to work around and go over with your amazing spidey senses that Scorpios have. Y'all are so motherfucking intuitive and you know, and you know how to harness that dark energy. So even with the fire, you can lean into the shadow to propel you forward even more. You need to look at what are the things that you need to let go of that are going to lighten your chariot so you can get the momentum that you want. So Six of Wands Reverse is telling me if you're not getting the validation and affirmation that you are craving and that you, a lot of Scorpios seem to need, but pretend that they don't, how can you find that within yourself? This is not the month to be going out giving your power away. And it's not the month to be getting lost in other people being obsessed with you. Because we all know that people can change and that's okay. So in those moments where you're not getting the validation that you need, someone is not obsessed with you, it is okay. It doesn't mean that you're unlovable or that you're mean. I mean, it might mean that you're mean. Look, I know that you are a little marshmallow inside. The best thing you can do is really love that little marshmallow because I'm going to tell you something straight. Ain't nobody going to love and be as obsessed with that little marshmallow as you are because Scorpio, you are so obsessive. So Scorpio, how can you love yourself more? And then by giving that power back to yourself, you can really blast off into your King of Wands energy, which has been in complete mastery 
and leading from that place of fire. King of Wands is the trailblazer. So Scorpio, you are being asked to step up and pioneer something. I think there are going to be opportunities for you to really start something new, to trailblaze something that you haven't seen before. But in order for you to do that, you've got to turn out from the external and you need to work on your relationship with the external, which is going to give you the strength to really blaze that trail that the world so needs. So whatever it is you're thinking of starting, if you are trying to do something that you have not seen before, this is your sign. Okay, Sagittarius time, my lovely Saggy. Sagittarius is Gemini season. You're all about refining this Gemini season instead of starting something new, which I think you're going to be very tempted to do being a Sagittarius. The is asking you to focus on refining. It is time to refine and get down to the details of how you want things to be. The thing is, you can create something that is always going to be renewing itself so that you don't get so bored easily. How can you turn your attention to the details? which are actually really going to impact the experience that you have. So I think Sagittarius, Sagittarians tend to run away from that hard work of like having to like navigate conflict and like work out the little things by like starting something new or like going on a new track. That there are new beginnings waiting for you in your current projects and relationships. I feel like there's some relationships in your life, Sagittarius, that are wanting a little bit of a makeover or they're about to get the energy to be initiated into a new phase. So I don't know, maybe you're opening up your relationship with your partner or maybe you've had this friendship that you've known for a while and you're gonna start to collaborate. It's time to do your due diligence and focus your energy on really getting the finer details of these things right. Let me tell you, this new phase of relationship with whatever it is is going to be even more exciting than this new shiny thing where you're starting from zero building on what you already have is going to bring you so much more abundance than you ever thought was possible a really good snapshot of what is going on and i think that's going to make you feel a lot more comfortable when it comes to stepping up because you have done your homework you have paid attention to the detail you have done your due diligence it is time to use that sword and to really wield it My beautiful capricorns oh you have the star oh my god that's so cute all right capricorns Gemini season, I think, is going to be really healing for you, okay? I know a lot of Capricorns recently have been spinning out because of the crazy energy last month. With Mercury in retrograde, you could not control all the things that were going wrong. And a Capricorn's like, oh my god, what do I do? Do I, like, hunker down or do I keep on going? Most Capricorns keep on going and some, even when they're, like, climbing the wrong mountain, they look over, they're like, oh, was that the mountain I was supposed to be climbing? Well, I guess I'll just continue with the one I am. However, the, the start is here to say this is going to be a month where you can start to rest. I dare say the energy is going to calm down a lot. There's going to be opportunities for healing some of those situations that went really wrong. There's going to be opportunities for you to heal your physical health. So Capricorn, please take the rest when you need it. Get things in order. Remember that sometimes if you allow yourself to pivot and be flexible, which is what Gemini season is asking us to be, you might find a little onsen on the way of your mountain. Since you're already climbing the wrong mountain anyway, just say you decided to pivot and you came across this beautiful Japanese onsen and like it just gives you the nourishment and replenishment that you need. So Gemini season, can you lean into the energy that is asking you to be more flexible and understand that when you allow yourself to pivot and be flexible and take that rest or indulge a little bit, it actually brings you to the right mountain, suddenly that beautiful Capricorn energy comes in and you find the mountain, another way to the mountain or a little bridge between the two mountains that you didn't even know was there. If there is anything that I want you to be relentless and keep on going about Capricorn this season, it is really to get into your healing era. This is your healing season. This is a time to really go inwards and to really do all the things that make you feel better. There are gonna be lots of opportunities and people coming into your life Offering you moments of bliss, it is okay to say yes and take that. It is not going to slow you down. If anything, it is going to make you faster because you have more energy after that. All right, my gorgeous Aquarius, I've been talking about you so much recently. Aquarius, you got the sun. The sun is ruled by Leo. Okay, 
Aquarians, what a great season for you with everything going on. It is such a good time to see and be seen. If you're feeling the social energy, time to get out there. It is time to use your voice, connect with different people and really be in that energy. It's really about sharing your ideas with people. If you're wanting to make a big change in terms of your appearance, the sun is your permission slip. And Aquarians, you know, sometimes y'all like to intellectualize your emotions. So let's get intellectual and let's do some inner child work. The sun is really inviting you to be that little happy inner child. So what is that intellectual work you need to do to get into the inner child sense of play? Allow yourself to be in your body, feel your feelings, be in the sun. Aquarius, when you connect with your emotions and allow your emotional self to be seen, I know it feels really intense and you are like, oh my God, what if I get burned? But actually, I think that you find that there is a lot more abundance and that the big shifts that you so wish to see in the world and your life happen like that. And really adopt that flexibility that Geminis have. Well, Go and play and allow yourself to be seen. Just your intellect, but your whole fucking self. And now the star sign, which I have the most love-hate relationship with. Pisces, can't live with you, can't live without you. <gasps> Oh, I love this for you, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, this season, we've got the three of wands. You've got someone who's standing there with three wands and they're looking out to the horizon. This is your permission slip to dream about what is possible in other lands. You want to romanticize other places or new opportunities or new ventures. This is your time to do it, okay? This is your permission slip. Now, three of wands is also asking, how are we, how are we dreaming and expanding the boundaries of what we think is possible for our passion? And our creativity and everything that drives us forward so if there's a new relationship you're thinking of investing in start the process start by dreaming and then secondly please action it because no you're a dreamy idealistic motherfuckers but unless you actually step take a little micro step into that realm you're never gonna realize it so Pisces start to make moves and take a leap towards that beautiful opportunity that's coming up for you, okay? Don't worry, the ground is still going to be there. It's not asking you to like pack your bags right away, but it's asking you to take your luggage down and start putting clothes inside. Last but not least, my gorgeous Aries that are the first sign of the stars. Well, is that right? I'm not sure. Oh, very nice. We have three of pentacles. Okay, Aries, this is the time for collaborations. I really think that the Gemini energy can be really great for Aries. So Aries, I know you'll love to be right. I know that you'll love to just like kind of do your thing. This Gemini season, please lean into that. The networking and socializing that's gonna come with this season, it is time to forge new relationships. They're gonna be collaborations coming your way. It's gonna get you to speak your truth. You're gonna probably correct a whole bunch of people and you're probably gonna be recognized for it. So whatever, Whatever those collaborations are that feel really positive, this is a sign to lean into them. And also, if you've been thinking about collaborating with someone, Aries, make that move. Move with that fire. Show us how it's done. I really feel like the Three of Pentacles is looking at implementation, but from a very a, fun, a foundational, long-term way. So Aries, even though you're very quick and you wanna, you know, you wanna go, 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 and the Gemini season will be pushing you to do that. What is your due diligence that you can do? Who are the people you can bring in to make sure that your foundations of this gorgeous temple you're building are going to stand no matter what comes? So this is foundation laying. It is through bringing people in. It is all about true collaboration. So Aries, this is the season to hunt for your collaborators, to really be reflecting on the relationships that make you feel held safe, that challenge you and that affirm you. Okay, y'all, I've done a lot of talking. This is my very first new moon and reading for all the astrological signs. If you like this video, if something resonated with you, please, 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 I would love if you liked this video, you know, drop a comment down below and share it with your friends. If there are people that I have called out via an astrological sign that you are thinking of, 100% this is your sign to send this to them. Anyway... I hope that you guys have an amazing Gemini season and a great new moon in Taurus. No matter what astrological sign you are, please, this is your sign and this is your pushing to go and write some abundance letters. Really write down what are the things that you're manifesting? How can you lean into the abundance? And when you're doing this kind of work, you we really need to be in a frame that anything is possible. Miracles are normal and can happen any day. So if there were no limits, what could you want and what could you have? Anyway, I'm sending so much love. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Amanda Grace Lucy and Leo, Grace and Tarot.